Blessed love, blessed love. I mean, I say, yo, respect to all of the people, them subscribers, all the people them that's been sharing the videos and liking the videos and the latest uploads. Yo, a lot of great things going on, a lot of good news. May I forgive out right now, as far as me, the artist G Terror, whole heap of things are going on. But here we are now, people. As far as the Bob Marley video, them, yes, I put up earlier, a couple of weeks, about a week now or so. You know, I'm strong now, I should I say. Let me tell you something. There's nobody more perfect and more observative to talk about Bob Marley from a fan perspective. I've been a big fan and supporter of the Marley legacy and Bob Marley himself my whole life. Born into the shadow of Bob Marley in Jamaica. Born and grew up. Things of Bob Marley alive. When I went me a five, six, I understand that Bob Marley dead before my born. Because my mother tell me, say, yeah man, Bob Marley dead before, long before you're born. And I'm telling you something, people. I thought Bob was alive when I was growing up as a little youth. So I'm telling you something. My whole life I've been collecting Bob Marley stories. My mother went to school with Bob Marley in St. Anne. Want to listen to me good? I know for a fact Bob Marley is just a man, just like anybody else. Now, a great man can be healed and respected, but we do not worship figures around here. So all the people will comment. Remember that when you deal with a man, just because his legacy is great and just because he was... You know what I'm saying, in the limelight and musically, um, worldwide, global and, and famous and rich and these things Do not mean we worship him, we do not worship men We just deal with truths and rights And Bob Marley will tell you that for himself And that may try to show people from morning That is what I said from the get-go And it stands true And all the people will come and talk about Bob, but, but A bunny whale I teach Bob Marley to play guitar All type of foolishness people are commenting on the chat Just because they want to be seen This is not for attention people These things are for educate the youth them So when you see me I make them video please No say a Jamaica me de In a Spanish town I may educate the youth Them when I know nothing about these things from the past These things are things we want for putting on the limelight right now When we not shine certain truths But that's the reason why I'm a reason for them thing there to make them thing unknown so that the youths them can gravitate to it and get a sense of what did I go on back then. So I put the knowledge on. Now I say I will if I run up, I put up Bob Marley video all over the place. I put up pure Bob Marley review and pure foolishness because enough of them now are money wars, money grabbers. Them say something hot and it's a trend and them are jump on a trend. That's it. You see how people are? The majority of them are jump on the Bob Marley trend. But like I said people, if you check out my timeline and you go in the past, you will see Bob Marley uh, birthday tributes that i've done over and over because i give reverence and love to that man um legacy and to what he's done on the earth so may i say as well as peter touch as well as bunny whaler as well as the other great man them you may I say all of the great artists them not just great artists but marcus garvey the great peoples all great peoples and i say you know me not even talk against nobody no negative way i was dealing with the movie so when i spoke on the movie and the whole setup and everything it didn't mean i have any negative heart or bad mind toward nothing it just means that me have a perspective and our opinion on how things should be done. We have to start using with knowledge and speak as people and use with sense and start talk with sense and stop disrespecting each other and talk about bad mind and everything. But people, we can reason upon things. Sometimes things are foolish and we can open up and talk about it and talk about the real way to do it. You know what I say? So let me, let me open up and talk about this right now. How is your story important? If you cut out my story. So since people are so smart as people, 500 years later from now, where will you all be? 500 years from now, where, where will everybody here be right now? Hmm? Why be selfish with memories? Why be selfish with things? Why not share? In just 50 years, some people will not be here physically and many others will be wiped away from the memory of their own grandchildren. In not just 50 years from now, may I talk? Some people not even remember all their granny. And some people are forgetful like that. Does it even matter for me to spread the truth right now? Because some people are going to forget it. But guess what, people? When you call this Black History Month, and Black History is every day. Black History is every day. And right now, we are dealing with it on a different level. Now, for them who want to say some slavery thing, we are dealing with the chanting for righteousness and show the people them the true revolutionary them. And the people speak the truth like Peter Tash, Bob Marley, and everything. We talk upon them. So, I said, that's why we do this. Some people are doing it for mockery. And there's a power grab, some like a ball that I run up on every minute to see them post Bob Marley now, Bob Marley, just because of the movie and the trend. So you see what's going on in the system. And these are what we're dealing with from a long time. These little mockery. It's sad to see men, them get them little guns and turn into idiots. Turn, think them have power and go on great over other men because they have a couple little guns. Let me tell you about men. Throwing away their lives. No meditation or insight on higher learning. See? We don't even know what happened. What happened? Question. What happened with black man learning and growing in mental power? Power. Mentally. Me I talk about unity. Come together. 
and help each other, support each other business wise, business sense, and trap. What happened? All of a sudden, everybody a bad man and fool fool and idiot and dunce and stupid. You know me I say? Appear war boat and bad screw face. Now watch this now. Them give the people them some fake food. People them belly full of fake stuff, fake shit. And you know me I say? Them think them happy. When they check it out, them crash into a ditch like that Andre 3000 song there. You know what I'm saying? Crash. Yeah, because that judgment are going on the earth when man do pure foolishness and go on like say man do the right thing when he do pure negative, right? You see all the Bob Marley thing where them mix up, mix up and twist up right now again this Bob Marley one love when Bob Marley is a revolutionary where I deal with a fight against injustice. That's what his whole career and life was about. The music was about. They're so fake. If you check out Bob Marley's birthday, like I said, I make tributes to Bob Marley every year and post about him and show respect when nobody even care for mention and I say happy birthday, Bob Marley. So I say, we know says a big figure, yes, enough people are going to remember, but may I talk about the majority. Enough people in business about that. So till there is a, grab, a power grab and there is a, a trend, and then them say everybody are run with a trend, and they must say, oh, something can't happen after this, then them jump on it. That's what I'm telling you, people. One of the biggest reasons I don't trust many people, a whole lot, 99.9%, .9%, they will kill you for standing up for them. How many great men them set up for get killed? Bob Marley, Peter Tash. Marcus got them set up a yeah, Wally for great man, them set up Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and one of them get killed, right? I set up our some way, some form of of um wickedness not the background, not the back office going with the man them. So how many great men have they killed? Truth? See my the gov use probably CIA and FBI if it target a lot of revolutionary reggae artists and also USA rappers too. You know, Nubian rappers that talk truth, like Tupac, people like that, you know, targeted. Yeah, because the power dynamic is conflicted when a Nubian man's voice is so powerful, it can unite the people. So any black man that can unite the people, you are considered, you know what I'm saying, a problem. And them start to target you. That's what I, that's an opinion within I and I, you know, my reasoning. And that becomes a problem to the whitewash racist media figures who forever uphold white super nasty. I mean, white supremacy, they call it. A super nasty, they call it. And their Freemasonic orders and agendas. They uphold whitewashed media program freemasonic agendas seeing and them stand up for fight against the real truth you get what me i say them stand up for fight against real truth and real newbie and real black man real original gang seeing them now want the truth to be exposed to the youth that's why you see bob marley was also targeted if you look it up then say bob marley get followed by cia for years they don't talk about that in the movie did they they didn't mention those things did they now it's a funny how them cut out the things that want make a movie really exciting, you know? They may give you this little lovey-dovey, whatever them say, them give a relationship movie. And Bob Marley is a loving man. Yeah, man, loving man. And he's a sweet man. Oh, and that, That's what some people come You can believe that. After all our Bob Marley, do you imagine legacy man left some people comment? Oh, you such a sweet man. And that's what you think of Bob Marley? Me bamba. Them people get it all wrong from like that. Me I try to reason it and tell you no. So make we go and talk the truth and make me tell you know what really I go on. These people are some camouflage. All them look a ball head, look a warmonger, I'll jump up about Bob Marley, this Bob Marley, that. I try my best not to hurt feelings. As some people didn't grow up and are still scared little children in adult bodies. So they don't do the right things. They always look for some little trouble and some little things for chat and sus and you understand? You overstand, you understand? So these are the things we have to reason about and bring to the light, people. They will show you fake images to worship and look up to while telling you. You ain't shit. Don't let them fool you. It's a trick. See, we don't worship no figure around here. No Bob Marley. We don't worship Peter Tosh. We don't worship nobody. We just heal them and big them and respect them and love them. You hear that? How could I, in true knowledge of myself, look up to a, a worship another man? I can look up to and embrace and, and respect a man, no matter who that man is, fame, greatness, or whatever good him do. But I cannot worship no man because I ain't no say. The most I creator creator of all of us and the whole way of the most I creator life force in a way. Every butterfly, every bees, every man, every bird, every animal, everything where you see. See, now the most I creator created. You see me, I say the sun will shine in the sky, the moon will come up at night. You see me, I say, when you give thanks for life, I know, say, look here, man, them reason you're real. Here is not a play play thing, me pan. When we come about Bob Marley and I talk, it's not just for, for yappity, 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 right? So we're going to keep it real here and we're going to talk some truths, all right? Because some people wanted to be worshipped. And adored as gods while my granny was in the mud. So don't you effing forget that. Don't you forget it. You see me, I say, people, remember them thing that. See me, I say, a lot of people grow up with love. A lot of people grow up with wallop of food, clothes, sheltered. Yet when them grow up, them want to kill each other for nothing. I want to kill people. I want to hurt people. Why? Because they're greedy, selfish, and programmed by the system. 
So let's keep it real over here that your people are programmed by this um, white super Nazi system, okay? Let me say them will show your fake images to worship for you if you look up to it while them I tell you say you ain't shit. Don't let them fool you. That's a trick. Alright? That's a trick. Don't just let them come with the, with, the, with the fake church thing. You see, don't let them do that with Bob Marley because then you use Bob Marley image and make you worship Bob Marley, you know. And then they might look down upon the Rasta people the same way, you know. And that may I try teaching you know, people through them reason, you know. We real Rasta people know me I talk about, you know. Because a lot of people out there are Bob Marley this and Bob Marley that. Wally Palico camouflage pagan. Yes. I go and let them love Bob Marley and Bob Marley. So I'm going to try not, my best not to hurt feelings. But they do not love Rasta people. They do not love Rastafari. They do not love the, the people. They don't, they don't even love black people, period. I'm telling you, some of the people you see I talk about Bob Marley, Bob Marley that don't even love black people. Okay? That is what I'm trying to tell you, people. So let's just keep it 100 and just, you know what I'm saying? Just be real with yourself and be honest. So some of us can be honest. So anyway, me like I say, what you know, said Brad Pitt did a, um, did a gear up for play Bob Marley. Only do you know that? Only do you know that Brad Pitt was gearing up to play Bob Marley in a movie? Hmm? One of the biggest reasons I don't trust people I say, then we kill it when I try to stand up for them. And that's why I'm mean, not saying enough time. That's the reason why I, didn't, I wasn't going live for a while on my YouTube. Because YouTube, they delete my video them too. But watching the people, I said Brad Pitt did a gear up for play Bob Marley. You know? And that's crazy to me. Like, a white man would put himself in a position. I said, boy, I'm going to play this black man, you know? This great legend. But you know, it's not a it's not a racist thing in my mind, you know. Or a prejudice thing in my mind. You know? It's a show now vibes with life and how things really go, you know. So you have to be careful now this earth. Yeah? May I tell you, you have to really just Because I guess him check Bob Marley as a white man too. I <laughs> don't know what's for reason. I don't know if I broke down the reasoning. Yeah? Only tell me what I think on that. Give me your opinion on if Brad Pitt played Bob Marley. What would you have said? What would be your your, what would you say if Brad Pitt was the one that played the Bob Marley role in a movie, right? And it was successful or whatever the hell. It, whether it go up or down, or what, who cares, whatever, Hollywood, I don't care. I'm just saying, what would be your opinion if this man had played the Bob Marley role? I want people to tell me, like, what them think, what, what, what would be your feedback if you did see this happen, if this did happen? Because I would if a backlash it get, you know, and that's why it probably never happened. People burn out that blow and say, yo, run away with that, Brad. How do you, Brad? You know, pit Brad go with that. Mm -mm. Anyway, big up on yourself. You know, me, I say, me I got enough of that reason right now and jump back on the topic another time because it's so much to say on this. I know, as a real youth from the streets and a youth I grew up in a Spanish town, Jamaica, and I go a bubble and no Rasta people, me I tell no people. Yeah, yeah, me just like, subscribe, share, comment, and you know, leave your feedback. Let me know what you think. Craziness. One love. No schooling.